Hi, my name is Per Majdal Rasmussen and I want to reinvent how the switch and light bulb work together. So uh, let's just quickly get started. So traditionally a light bulb has been connected with a switch and then you could turn it on and off. All was great, all was simple, all was working. But and then came the smart bulb and what was so smart about that so uh, let, let's just first uh, take the ca capability of um, of a dumb light bulb so um, it can turn on and off and it can if um, if you have something a little smarter electronics then it can it's dimmable And, um, and that smart electronic could either be in the ceiling fixture or it could be in the light switch itself. So that's what a dumb bulb can do. And that was the baseline. Then came the smart light bulb. What can, could that do? It was still, could still turn on and off. And it was dimmable. And it had color change, maybe. And you could turn it on and off uh, remotely. Um, but if you look at it, oh, wait. The, the remote part could also be done here if you had some smart electronics. So this part was uh, semi-smart, but not in the light bulb itself, but uh, maybe in the ceiling fixture or in the switch. So the only thing uh, the smart bulb really brings to the table is color change. But and that all the electronics is in the light bulb itself, so it might be easier uh, to get started. And maybe it's more expensive in the end. That's how they catch you. Okay, so far so good. Um, but the smart light bulb comes with its own set of uh, problems. It relies on sick B or or Wi-Fi or something other wireless communication because you have your remote and it sends wirelessly to the light bulb and why does it do that? well if you look there's not really much communication that can be done there's only a phase going in a neutral and a phase and uh, which can turn on and off the light bulb and uh, with the dimmable then you could do half phase and such and put a little less energy in but basically all the communication was done through these two so that's why you do wireless but wireless is unreliable and it's hard to get started um, it takes a lot of effort uh, for non-technical people to get started a lot of frustration so i would call this like before the iphone uh, smartphone before the iphone not really smart not really smart so can we improve on this yes we can i think um so we are going to make our new imaginable light bulb so how is this going to work it's going to have all these features but work without this it, it still as a feature like as an add-on but not a requirement forget it working um, so let's see what can we do? 
because well, what do we want from a light switch? We want it to turn on and off, dimmable and color change. And we only had this one communication channel and the wall switch can only turn on and off. That is probably here where I should have shown that I actually make my own wall switches, uh, smart wall switches, which uh, has these capability turn on and off, uh, dimmable, and in this version also with color change. But this is not what the video about. about. This is just to show I actually know what I'm talking about. So let's um, let's see how we can make. The smart light bulb point two, or whatever we should call it, the smarter light bulb. So uh, if we make a quick drawing, then on the wall, we have a wall switch that can turn on and off. That goes to a socket, and here goes the face in, and here's the neutral. So far, so good. That is our communication to the light bulb. So uh, if we make a smart light bulb and we want to make some kind of communication here, then if we turn off the light bulb, well, uh, there's not so much communication there. Some light bulbs, maybe almost all of them of the smart light bulbs, then you can turn it on and off in some kind of pattern to reset it. But that's basically all the communication they do with the mains voltage. But um, I think we can do a lot smarter. So we want it to be able to turn it on and off and be dimmable. And that can already be done in some of the old dumb light bulb with smart electronics. That is that you have a spring loaded switch. And uh, this spring loaded switch is one click to turn on and one click to turn off. And if you hold the button down, then it cycles through the brightness level. So just with one switch, you can turn on and off and change the brightness level. But that, of course, cannot be done here because uh, you're turning off the voltage. But here comes the smarter, my smart idea. So if we take this uh, on off switch and then other way we like it to be on the on position that's a little different from country to country in Denmark and I think the rest of Scandinavia this is turned on but in the rest of the world this is turned off so bear with me that if I show it in reverse of what you think um, so what we want is that when we push then it breaks the circuit and that's of course easy you just turn it around and change the spring so it's push to turn off so far so good but uh, so that means that the smart light bulb always have power except when we you push then it's turned off but we have the problem that it cannot receive communication when it's turned off so how do we resolve that and that's quite easy we make a diode so all you need to do is turn it around so that it's pushed to turn off and then connect a diode across these two. Then the light bulb can sense if it's only receiving a half. So normally it will receive a full phase. And when the bottom is pushed, then it will receive half a phase. And then you can make some electronics that detect when the bottom is pushed. So that was the first part. Now we have turn on and off and brightness level with just one button and we can use our existing switches rather than reinvent all the smart light switches. Okay, but what about color change? How the yeah, how do you get color change? Well, what people really need is color temperature. They want the same color in the room as it is outside so you don't get crazy in your head. So when it's the middle of day, you want 4000 uh, Kelvin light and uh, in the evening you want 3000 and when you're going to the bathroom in the middle of the night or when you should go to sleep, then you want the uh, 2700 uh, Kelvin light. Well, why should you push a button to change to match the light when you already know this from the time and the global position.
Um, but then come the thing. How are we going to input the time and global position into a light bulb without having wireless and all the configuration problem? Is there some kind of device that knows the global position and time? Yes, there is. It's a call a GPS. And it's so cheap that you can probably put it in a light bulb without adding anything significantly to the cost. So that's that's it. The light bulb knows where it is in the world and can select the appropriate color temperature based on the sun's position. So in the more in the early morning is this color and in the evening and the in the beginning of the morning, then 3,000 and the middle of the day, 4,000. And it knows when the sun is coming up because it has the global position and time. So there you have it. I just reduced all these five buttons down to one button that can be pushed on by sending a half face to the light bulb. So. Then all the person all the person needs to do when buying this smarter light bulb is, is buy it, install it, and if you do nothing then it works like a normal dumb light bulb. And if you uh, screw out your your light switch, turn it around and install a single diode across it, including a spring so it's spring loaded. Then you have all the smartphone functionality without the instability of having a wireless connection, without the whole setup process of having a gateway or a bridge and all that kind of things. You can still have that on top of it. So if this light bulb just have a 2.4 gigahertz antenna, then it can support Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and Zigbee because they all run on 2.4 gigahertz if you have all of these and then you can have that as an ad additional option so that means that it's very easy to get started on the smarter light bulb and then afterwards add it to your Zigbee network if you're a real pro or maybe you just want to use it on your phone in the same room, then Bluetooth is great. Then you can use the signal strength to show the light bulb that's closest to you. And if you're not ready to invest in a Zigbee network, then you also have the Wi-Fi option. And of course, this can sound a little expensive, putting all this technology into the smarter light bulb. So then there's two tiers. So all this color change, that can be an add-on because that means that color change and GPS is something you pay extra for and if you only want the simple part then you can have a cheaper version so that's it that's my introduction to this so this is where I need your help uh, because this is far so this product I made here was easy because it was low voltage so all the safety requirements on all that uh, was not not an issue and I just used an existing uh, chip so I did no software development whatsoever this is only a physical modification of uh, the, this remote control but this is an, a whole other project uh, so where I need help or oh, for, for the fact of the matter, I don't care if somebody steal the idea and do it all by themselves, just that we actually get this product and the, the, if there's multiple competitors, then we can probably also get it at a more reasonable price. So um, please come with your suggestions uh, if you can help with this project and uh, well, see you in the, see me in the future. <laughs> yeah. Bye bye.